Sabrina Ellen Savard, and welcome to Core Solutions. This is a multi-level, low back and abdominal strengthening and flexibility video designed to help you maintain neutral alignment and stabilize the torso in the upright position. Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about is finding neutral alignment of the spine. When you stand towards the side like this, you notice that your pelvis kind of rotates a little bit towards the front. To find neutral alignment, what you need to do is not pelvic tilt and squeeze your butt because you don't walk around all day like this. What you need to learn to do is to pelvic tilt using the abdominals in the upright position. And if you'll notice, when I do that pelvic tilt, my pelvis rotates towards the back. So to find neutral alignment, what I'd like you to do is I want you to pull your abdominals in nice and tight. Don't squeeze your buttons here. You want to pull the abdominals in tight so you can feel that rotation. I want you to lift those shoulders up, lift your rib cage up, drop those shoulders back down, and drop the rib cage down. Okay, this is neutral alignment. The video today has three different levels of a workout that's going to help you maintain this neutral alignment in the upright position. With 80% of the Americans today having a low back problem, it's really important that we learn to train the abdominals and the low back to stabilize the torso in the upright position. And that's what this video is going to show you how to do today. There's level one, level two, and level three, three different complete workouts. Warm up, cool down in each workout. Please start with the warm up, and when you're done, please don't forget to do the cool down and stretch. It's very important for flexibility. I recommend that you work the abdominals every other day. Some people say every day. I recommend that you do one of these workouts every other day. Obviously start with level one, and once you feel comfortable with that, I would do level one one day, then level two, and then level two again, and then eventually add in level three. And for variety, you can do level one one day, skip a day, do level two, and then skip a day and do level three once you've mastered all three levels, and you can add that variety to your workout. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start with the warm-up. Um, level one, and then we'll do the cool down and progress right into level two and level three. And as always, you do what's best for you with all of these. If you're uncomfortable with one of the exercises, there's three different modifications that I'll be showing in this video, and you can modify to best suit your needs. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, hi, my name is Sabrina Allen Savar, and this is my assistant, Kim Davies. What we're going to do is we're going to do a warm up, okay, to get your back nice and uh, flexible and warmed up. We're also going to add in some spinal rotation um, and then we'll begin the workout. Okay, let's take a big deep breath in first. Bring it up and exhale. And one more time, bring it up and exhale. You're just going to bring those hands right down onto your thighs. Okay, I want you to pull your abs in nice and tight so your back rounds over. From the side, this is what it's going to look like. You're rounded over. Okay, then we're going to drop it down for two slowly up for two and down two and up for two and down and up let's do that nice and slow for four now drop it slowly down okay you want to keep those abs in tight but you're just kind of arching your back a little now let's bring it slowly up and round that back over and slowly back down remember once again what you're moving here is you're just moving that low back up and slowly down. You don't want to be bending your knees, doing all these other crazy things. Okay, you just want to be rounding the back and lowering the back. Okay, and round it up. And let's lower. Okay, and let's round it up and hold this time. Okay, I'm just going to press a little bit over to the right and center. Oh, it could be your left. Press over and center. A little bit over to my right, your left. And back to center, saying a little rotation in there. Okay, let's go the other side. And press, and back, and press, and back, press, and back, and press. And let's switch sides. You're just going to press over this time and hold. Just give a slight little reach over to the side. Okay, let's bring that back in and press over to the other side. And give a nice little reach over there. And back in. Okay, pull those abs in tight. Let's round it over again. And slowly release. And let's just round it the whole way up this time. Take those shoulders back. 
two, three, and four. And let's just reach right up over, one hand on your thigh here, but from the rib cage, reach it over, and release, reach up, release, and up. And just reach over and hold this time. And release. Let's go to the other side. Just lift it right up over. Reach from the rib cage you want to lift. And release. And reach. And back. And reach. And back. Two more. Reach. And let's just reach right over and hold. And back down. Okay, we're just going to rotate slightly over. Rotate. Go back in. And rotate back in, a couple more, rotate, and back, and rotate, let's switch to the other side, nice and easy, rotate, and back, and rotate, back, two more, rotate, back, rotate, and back, okay, let's just stretch the back out one more time, come on down, okay, pull your abs in nice and tight, round that back over, and release, and round it up, and release, and let's just round it the whole way up this time, take those shoulders back again, two, three, and a nice big deep breath in, up, and exhale, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth, okay, so let's get started. Okay, this is level one, of course, solutions. Okay, I'm gonna explain all the exercises while Kim does them for you, okay? So we're gonna start with low back, okay? Why don't you come on down like Kim is here. You can lay down on a mat or on the carpet or wherever. Just wanna come the whole way down, and then I'm gonna bring you back up. And what, what this is called is a modified cobra, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your hips right down on the uh, ground here, and you're gonna have your hands out in front, and you're just gonna press up Okay, so when you press up, you want to make sure you're keeping those shoulders down and back. You don't want to be all hunched up. Get all hunched up so we can see what hunched up looks like. Okay, you just want to press down, keep those shoulders down and back, and hold. Okay, and then go on down, and we're going to do eight of those. Okay, come on up, and hold, and slowly back down. Okay, and back up. What you want to make sure you're doing is keeping the head and neck in line with the spine here. You don't want to have your head going back or down, forward, okay, back down. Okay, this is number four, come on up, and hold, and slowly down, okay, and back up again, and slowly back down, okay, just two more, bring it on back up, and slowly back down, I'm gonna do this one more time, okay, come on up, and slowly back down. And where you should be feeling that is right in through here, okay? I'm gonna switch to the next exercise now. Okay, when you first start out, you can, re you can rewind this tape and do this over again if you like, beginner level, um, after you're used to this, before you advance to level two. If you wanna do two sets of everything, that'll be fine. Okay, what we're gonna do now is you're gonna take your arms straight out in front. Okay, once again, you can just relax. Once again, you're going to keep the head and the neck and the spine in alignment. What we're going to do here is we're going to do opposite leg, opposite arm lifts. Hips are back down once again. You're going to lift the opposite leg, opposite arm, and then we're going to alternate. Okay, we're going to do that nice and slow. We're going to do a set of eight of each of these as we alternate. Okay, so why don't you go ahead, Kim. Opposite leg, opposite arm, and back down. Okay, and switch. And back down. That's one set, and lift. Okay, as you notice, Kim's keeping her head down here. She's not up and looking around, and release, and switch sides. She's also not kicking high in the air. Where you're gonna feel this, once again, is down your spine, and release, and lift, and release, and lift, and release. Again, lift, and release, and lift. In between each repetition, you also want to relax totally, totally. Release. And if she's a good body. She doesn't do anything unless I tell her. Release. Okay, and lift. And release. Okay, let's do three more sets here. And lift. Nice and easy. And release. 
and lift. Now, maybe if this is too much when you first start out, you can do half of this. That's fine too. Release. And she listens to me. Other side. Lift. And release. And lift. And release. I think we need one more. Is anybody counting? One more. Lift. And release. And last time. Lift. And release. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the back arch. What you want to do is take your hands behind your back, okay, and you're going to clasp them. And all you're going to do is just slide them right down your buttons here and lift. And hold. And slowly down. Remember when you come down, you want to release the whole way. You want to keep those hips down also. Okay, and lift. And slowly down. Now, some people lift their feet when they do this. I recommend that you don't lift your feet. And lift. Okay, if you feel more comfortable later on and you want to lift your feet up a little bit, that's up to you. Okay, slowly down. But where you want to feel this is right in your back. Lift. And sometimes when you lift your feet up while you're doing this, it's a little bit too much strain on your back, especially when it release, especially when you first start out. Okay, and lift. Just slide the hands right down your buns and release. Okay, and let's do that three more times. You can also do this standing. Lift. And release. Okay, two more. And lift. This feels great if you've been sitting all day in an office chair, hunch forward. And release. And just one more time. And lift. And release. Okay, why don't you just come up to your hands and knees. You're just going to pull your abs in nice and tight and round the back over and just press back a little bit. That's going to stretch that out through there a little bit. Okay, and release just to where you're comfortable. And one more time, round it up. Okay, you notice all that's moving here is just this section. And release. <clears throat> okay, and come on up, Kim. Okay, we're going to go to uh, the abdominals now. This is the uh, abdominal section, level one. Okay, why don't you go ahead and lay down? We're going to show you a reverse curl. You're going to take your legs right up in the air. Okay, why don't you just open them so they're about hip level and just drop them down. Okay, you're just going to keep them relaxed here. We're putting your legs right here so you can't swing them and you can't cheat. The only thing that you can use is your abdominal muscles. Now, you can put your hands up to the side here because I don't want you to cheat and use those either and press down. What you're going to do is you're going to press your belly button down into the floor as hard as you can. You'll notice Kim's hips are lifting here. Okay, they're curling the reverse direction. Release. Okay, what you're doing is the natural curve of your spine is still there. And once you, when you press the belly button, to press that out, your back is going to be flat. So what you're doing is you're pressing and releasing. Pressing and releasing, okay? And we're going to do eight of those, okay? So go ahead, Kim, and press and release. Make sure you breathe, you guys too. Press. And release. Now this is a real small movement here. Press. You'll notice that Kim's legs are hardly moving. They're only moving about two inches. And release. She's not using legs at all. All she's using is abdominals here. Press. And release. Okay, four more times. Press. And release. And three more. Press. And release. Two more. Each time you do this, press. When you release, the natural curve of your spine comes back. Release, so you're working full range. Press, and release. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I want you to just take one leg down, okay, extend it the whole way. You can put another leg down for now. I want you to bring this in just enough so you can press your back flat using the abs. If you bring it in too much, your back's already gonna be flat, but we're trying to train the abdominals to stabilize the back. So you just want to bring the leg in just enough so you can press your back flat using your abdominals. You're going to take your other leg up, okay? You're going to take your opposite hand and bring that straight up over like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to press your back flat down into the ground here as you extend the leg and the arm up over like this and slowly back in. Now make sure you're breathing. We're going to do eight of those. Now this whole time you want to keep that back press flat. Okay, slowly extend. Nice and slow, and bring it back in. Nice and slow together. Now the whole time you're keeping that back press flat. And extend, that's three. I'm gonna count this time, really. And bring it back in, nice and slow. Okay, number four, here we go. You wanna be making sure you're keeping that back press flat the whole time. 
okay, and back in. You don't have to extend that leg out very far. And slowly back out. Okay, and back in. I think three more, so it's gonna count. A lot again. Slowly out. And back in. Okay, just two more, then we're gonna switch slowly out. And back in. And one more time, slowly out. I'm gonna keep that back press flat. And back in. Okay, let's just switch sides. <clears throat> Same thing, you wanna just extend that leg out enough. You can still have to use the abdominals to press that back flat. You don't already wanna stabilize the back. You wanna use your abdominals to do that. Okay, let's take it back out. <clears throat> Come on back in, just where you're comfortable, nice and slow. And back out. And slowly back in. Wait until my arm. And slowly back out. And back in, that was three. Okay, here comes number four. Okay, remember, you wanna keep that back press flat. That's the whole idea right now, what you're doing is you're training your abs to stabilize your back through movement. Back out on a good body. And back in. I get my cats to listen to this well, that'd be great. Slowly back out <clears throat> and back in. Is that two more? I think so. I hope so. Well, if it isn't, just do whatever more you need to. One more time. Slowly back out and come on back in. Okay, and just relax. Now, you can take your legs straight out here. I want you to get the feel for this. Now, when you're straight out here, notice I can slide my whole hand under Kim's back. What you want to do is you just want to bring your legs in just enough. So see, I can still slide my hand under here, but once she presses her belly button down, okay, your back is flat now. And once again, if you brought the legs in too much, your back would already be flat, and you wouldn't be using the abdominals to stabilize it. So you want to take those legs out just enough. So unless you're pressing your belly button down, there's still a curve in your spine. Okay, this is called a pelvic tilt. You know, you don't want to squeeze your buns. You just, what you want to do is you want to do that pelvic tilt using the abs to tilt that pelvis, okay? No squeezing the buns here, you just want to tilt. Now you're going to be doing this laying down, I want you to just get used to the feel of that, okay? So Kim, why don't you just go ahead and tilt, and we're going to do eight of those, and we're going to add in some um, spinal rotation and release, okay? Just press that belly button down, you don't have to pick your legs up, honey. Okay, and release, that's the next section, and press and release, and press, and release. Okay, now the curve is coming back every time she releases. Press, and release. Okay, three more times. Press, you breathing? And release, thank you. <laughs> press, and release, and one more time. Press, and release. Okay, now what we're going to do, since you're used to that pelvic tilt, we're just going to do the pelvic tilt, then we're going to add in a little spinal rotation to work the obliques. Okay, so what you're going to do, me standing up, and then Kim's going to do it with you, is you're going to do the tilt. Okay, you're just going to have your hands out at the side. You're going to rotate. You're going to come back to center, and you're going to release that tilt. So you're going to tilt, a little rotation to work the obliques, back to center, and untilt. Okay? Did you get that? Okay. All right, you can just put your hands out to the side. If you're more comfortable putting your hands here behind your head, that's fine too, but I tend to just have my hands out to the side. If your neck gets a little sore, you probably just need to take a little break and then start them over again. Your neck muscles just aren't that strong. This way, if your hands are out to the side, you're not pulling on your neck that way, and I know you're not pulling on them that way. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you do that pelvic tilt, your upper body's gonna lift, and then you're gonna rotate slightly. You're gonna turn, and you're gonna untilt, okay? Go this way this time. Press and rotate, back down, and release. Press and rotate, back down, release. And press and rotate, back, and release. Press, rotate, center, release, press that pelvic tilt and release. So you're going to tilt and rotate, center, release, and tilt and rotate, center, and release. Let's do another set of probably three more sets. 
and lift, rotate. Okay, I'm gonna do it standing while Kim does it there. So you're gonna press and rotate, center, release, press, rotate, center, release, press and rotate, center, release, press, rotate. Let's just do one more set each way. And press and rotate, center, release, press and rotate, center, and release. Okay, now that same idea from that same position, you're just gonna do crunches straight on. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna press and you're gonna lift, you're gonna lower and untilt. So it's tilt and crunch, lower, on tilt. Okay? You can put your hands wherever you like. <clears throat> That's fine. Kim's going to put her hands behind her head. I tend to put my hands just out of the side. You do what's best for you, but all I say is just don't pull on your neck. Your hands are just there for decorations for this particular exercise. Okay? So let's do this all together here. So it's press and crunch, release, now on tilt. Tilt and crunch, lower, release, and tilt and crunch, and lower, release. Tilt, crunch, lower, release. Four more, tilt and crunch, and lower, and release. You're pressing that back flat, and crunch, and lower, and release. Four more, I lost count totally. <laughs> Three more times, press, and lift and lower, two more, and press and lift one more time, and press and lift and lower and release. Okay, you can just extend your legs straight out now. You can take your hands right up overhead, reach up as high as you can. You feel a nice stretch in the abdominals through here, and just hold. Okay, and just relax totally. And why don't you bring your knees into your chest? Slide your hands underneath, okay, and just rock yourself up to a sitting position. Okay, this is level one of the abdominal and low back workout. Uh, what I would recommend is you do this every other day. Once you become comfortable with this, you can rewind and go through it twice before you go on to level two if you like, or you can just progress right, right into level two, and when you become comfortable with both, you can alternate those before you go into level three. But please be sure that you do the whole warm-up and the whole cool-down and flexibility section with this. It all goes hand-in-hand.